Hello, uh, this is Sam Philosopher signing in once again uh, for another edition of C Blog. Today I will discuss a sensitive topic, a topic of which I'm not the first one to discuss, but they have, but it's at the forefront of the of the debate of the of of the decisions of God um, and that is if God if God exists then why does he let evil exist specifically no I'm gonna I'm gonna refer give a perfect and clear reference because uh, a clear example on Friday, this past Friday, um, this, no, uh, the sentencing of Richard Gardner was handed out, and he was, he was found guilty of three counts, two, two counts of murder, and, and one count of the attempted rape. So he's gonna leave the in he's gonna go stay in prison for life. But it was such an emotional ordeal you could hear the anger the sense of hurt that was in the voices of of the of the kings when when they when it was their turn to direct their words to Richard Gardner and and to the atheists and also to me sometimes that question wonder if God is so loving how could he he had lived this happened I could a heinous act this horrifying could uh, possibly happen well there's a there's a there's a big discussion and I don't have a lot of time to go to each and every point but but the question has been addressed throughout all these years since since skeptics have been then questioning the the validity of of the systems of God. So uh, I I could tell you right off the bat right off the bat I don't have the precise answers but I do got I'll, well, at least one suggestion or one reason why God allows evil, and 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 it's clear, it's clear to this case of Richard Gardner. The reasons why God allows evil is because God allows free will. In other words. A person is allowed to choose whether to do good or evil, um, to do what's what morally right or wrong. Um, that is because morality is absolute. You I mean there is an objective standard of right or wrong but it is not forcible me meaning it cannot be forced upon a person it, you cannot uh, control a person to choose to do a certain thing and God God, God himself uh, respects that 
that um, rule of free will and uh, we as Christians also so when somebody says you're trying to force them something it's clear that he's a rel relativist because he thinks that there is no right or wrong because clearly I can't force you to do something because uh, if if I would only have a one two way or several ways to force you to either to do it by physical coercion or to act of law and and uh, but I can't just because I tell you do something may be wrong I that doesn't mean that I'm forcing you because you can choose whether to take my advice or not to so around the reasons why God allows evil is because each person in the Richard Garner's with Richard Garner chose to rape chose to do evil and a bet and and an objection to how if it's so evil how could he let him even though it was he chose it by his, his free will but here's the upside in the God yes we do have a free will we have our responsive we have a ability to choose our own made our own choices but in in the end we are responsible